guys this is Jerry with yet another video in this video I'll show you how to actually create multiple profile on cyberpunk you know uh, cyberpunk offers you actually different gameplay mode like you know as corpos or nomads and uh, street kids so sometimes you may want to try all this mode at the same time like or you and uh, your friend or brother want to play the same game you know on your computer so in this case that it's it's better to create multiple profiles than playing on the same profile right so in this video i'll show you how to actually create multiple profiles on cyberpunk and back up your uh, saves so this a small application is actually a mod it actually lets you back up your saves you know your progress from the save games then you can actually switch between these two pro two profiles whenever you want that's what this application does so in this video i'll show you how to actually use this application it's called save switcher so you can actually download it from nexus mods so this is the app here so save switcher to profile manager it's a small application installation is pretty straightforward so it has .exe file you can just install right away once you download it okay once you download it i have the file here so here you can see that this is the file so uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna install this once you have this okay it comes in zip folder so you can just double tap or just extract it so then after that just click install then it'll start installing so and it's uh, this is where it's actually installed you don't need to care about it so if you have used this before sometimes it may actually move the backup folder from its previous folder to a new new folder that's in documents folder on c drive okay so that's how it actually works so this is the application it's launched right away you can or if it doesn't launch automatically you can just uh, go to top menu and you should see the if you're on windows so you should see this here cyberpunk 2077 save switcher so this is the app so what it does is it actually lets you create multiple uh, profiles it backups the progress each and every time you play the game so you you can actually later load whichever the profile you want so like in one profile you might be playing as a corpo in the other one you might be playing as a nomad so whenever you want to play nomad you just select the nomad profile and launch it so that's how it actually works so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a first profile and i'm going to launch cyberpunk 2077 and here just click change uh, game path you need to actually enable this launch game through steam so if you have installed the game on steam otherwise it should be on go or epic games okay in my case it's steam so that's why i have selected launch game through steam this is where actually save files of the cyberpunk gameplay is located so that's why this so here if you click you will be taken to this folder you can see that so just you don't need to do anything just click this that's it so now i'm going to create my first profiles that's actually based on my current progress this application will actually copy the all progress or all save files from the save folder of the cyberpunk and move it to documents its own folder so it can actually back each and every time you play cyberpunk that's what it actually does so here you can see that this is where it's actually located so cyberpunk uh, your profile and saved games this is where actually the progress or your profile is located and you can see that the cyberpunk 2077 so this application cyberpunk save switcher will actually copy all this file and will create another folder in document called save switcher so this is a folder save switcher 2 and cp77 this is where it's gonna back up all the saved games from your cyberpunk 2077 folder okay it'll actually organize each and every profile in different folders then each and every time you load this game it'll actually load that particular saves from this backup folder to the main cyberpunk for a save folder so that's how it actually works okay so here i'm going to create a first profile that's completely based on the current progress so you need to tick this uh, checkbox include current active save games in new profile so i'm gonna name it cyberpunk nomad okay so click save okay that's it now i have created my first profile based on current progress okay 
then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click update so once I click update it's gonna sync all the progress from this folder I mean I mean the main cyberpunk save folder to the save switcher folder so you can actually create new folder an empty folder you can actually start a new game without losing your previous progress so here I'm gonna click update okay yes okay so and now if you go to save sutures folder you can see that your save games save upon nomad and all the saves are moved to this folder and the same files are still there so if you want to play so now if you want to now it's a nomad gameplay now you want to play as a scopo you can actually create a separate uh, profile here to create a new profile you just click uh, this plus icon and name it whatever you want cyberpunk Corpo. in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck this okay so include current active save games in new game in new profile so it's gonna create a new empty profile and it's gonna delete all the progress from the main save games but don't worry you have all your save games backed up to cyberpunk nomad folder in save, save switchers folder right so create save okay so I have created a copper profile as well so but in this case you shouldn't click this update progress because it's an empty folder you shouldn't actually back up the current progress because the current progress is nomad gameplay now you want to create a new profile completely based on copper right so in that case you need to launch the game and create a new profile that's so it actually works so uh, I created a new profile so I'm gonna launch the game but this time I want to make sure the save games folder is actually empty so in this case I'm going to users my profile and save games this is the main folder and CD project red but there is the save games from my uh, nomad gameplay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose this folder this folder is actually empty and I'm gonna click cloud and you can see that it'll actually delete all the save games files from the main cyberpunk 2077 save games folder you can actually launch the game without any profile and you can start a new and create a new profile okay for based on the corporal gameplay so that's how it actually works so i'm going to launch the game now okay it's actually being synced from your steam's cloud so sometimes you'll be uh, launching the game with the same uh, progress from the nomad gameplay that's because it's actually syncing from the cloud so this application can't do anything about it it'll give you some sort of warning so we can actually launch the game and create a new profile based on Coco. okay so it has launch the launcher so i'm going to launch the game here So you see this guys, it has actually loaded from my last progress from my uh, Nomad gameplay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new profile, new game, um, completely based on Copper. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new game. So just go for very hard, and I'm going for Copper this time. Okay. okay so guys i've created a new profile so this progress will be saved on my save games uh, folder right i'm gonna click okay confirm here i have this progress here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just um go to that folder and see if the progress has been synced so there Service to the uh, document save switcher, save games, and on uh, and copo. So it's not been seen. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose this copo, uh, copo profile, 
then I'll just update it then and click OK and it'll actually move all that progress from that main save folder to the save home copo save switcher folder so that I can actually launch the game from there so now you want to go back to your old progress as a nomad and that guess what you do is just choose that profile and click load and you will see it's being loaded here okay so it's been loaded okay because uh, uh, the folder has already had some progress from my previous gameplay it was actually synced from cloud so it has actually loaded the game i can simply launch the game right now then it'll actually launch my nomad profile so click launch sometimes team may warn you that save files on your pc and uh, the cloud are not the same so if you actually want to sync from cloud to your pc or from your pc to cloud so in that case you should be uploading what are the progress you have on your pc to cloud unless you are sure the save files on cloud and on your pc are same and there is no copo progress here so it's actually from the nomad profile that was actually backed up to the save switcher folder then i just loaded that one uh, on that app using uh, this load button just like that profile and click load and it'll actually load that progress from the save switcher folder to the main cyberpunk save folder and from there it'll launch the game so that's how it actually works guys so if you want to play that profile just uh, just click continue then it'll actually continue from wherever you actually stopped so that's how this save switcher actually works it actually lets you create multiple game profile and you can actually switch between these profiles each and every time you close any of this profile make sure you actually click this update select that particular profile and click this update so it'll actually sync whatever the changes you have made in the game with the save switcher profile as well so next time you launch the game using this application it'll actually launch the game from your last progress okay so that's how it actually works i hope this helps don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and thanks for watching